Yo, what's up guys, VS3 here. I'm going to have to rush this tutorial because I don't really have enough time to get all through it in one part, but I'm going to. So, uh, anyway, um, this is a tutorial on how to do the Twixter Sync. Uh, a lot of you requested it on my Epic Sync number 2, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it to you guys. I didn't find any good ones on YouTube. So, um, yeah. So, uh, what I do is uh, I go over here and I find a good place on a map with a lot of light. Uh, as you can see, there's a sun here as well as uh, the light reflecting off of the UMP as I'm reloading. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and go to uh, Video Effects. Uh, I'm actually going to make this best full first. Uh, I'm going to go to Properties. I'm going to make this uh, Maintain Aspect Ratio. Go ahead and rate this video while I'm editing this, please. I'd really appreciate it. Um, it takes a long time to make these guys, and it doesn't seem like you appreciate them. So if you don't rate them, I'm really just not going to upload tutorials, because it seems like you rate the intros and stuff good. So that's all I'll upload are the intros. So um, rate the tutorials if you want them. So um, as you can see here, uh, we got our clip, so I'm just going to go a few seconds before I shoot, split it by pressing S, drag this over, go a few seconds after I shoot, split it by pressing S again. Um, you also want to record you shooting one bullet with the MP5 or with the whatever gun you're using. So I'm going to zoom in here, I'm going to split it there, zoom into the end, split it delete this part, delete this part, I'm going to drag this over, drag this part over, I'm going to right click, group, remove from, delete the top, all I have is the UMP sound, that's good, I'm going to go to file, render as, I'm going to go to uh, MP3, and highest quality, and I'm going to save it as UMP, render loop region only, good. I'm going to double click here, zoom out, I'm going to go to properties, everything's good here, um, I'm going to go over here, add some sharpen, hold on, why is that, okay, reset to none, drag it on there, uncheck it, check it, reset to none, drag it on there, uncheck it, check it, add some uh, saturation adjustment, a little transolar, um, I'm going to change this a little bit, move it up to about 320, and change the spread up to about 3,700. That looks good. So, um, yeah, that's it. Now you're just going to want to go over here and delete this audio layer, or this audio track, and then you're going to want to go over here and go to File, Render As, and um, let me go over here to my WMV. My friend Cody gave me this uh, render settings. Um, make sure you render in 59.94 and title this clip and go ahead and click render. I'll be back when this is done. Alright guys, once that's done rendering out, you can go ahead and close it and uh, go ahead and open up After Effects. Alright guys, once we have After Effects open, you're just going to go over here to go to New Composition. Uh, make sure that you have at least two minutes if you're using like a 10 second clip. You'll see why in a second. Make sure it's at 59.94 frames per second and 1280 by 720. Click OK. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, go over here to Project, double click, and uh, this is basically going to allow you to import. It's just a fast way. Um, you're going to go over here to um, your clip, which is uh, my desktop. Import it. Go ahead and drag it down into your timeline. With your clip selected, go ahead and check this down here with the three videos. It says Enables Frame Blending. Check that. With the layer still selected, go to Layer, Frame Blending, or Time, Enable Time Remapping. That's good. Um, go over here to Effect, and go over here to Revision Plugins and Twixter 4.5. Go ahead and uh, save your project. I'm going to save this project as uh, Untitled Project. Make sure your input is 59.94. Um, again, I'm just rushing through this fast, guys, so I can get to the whole syncing part. Um, that's OGZX Riot interrupting my tutorial. He says he's gay. Okay, that's kind of fucked up. Anyway, uh, output control. Um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set a keyframe here at the beginning, and then uh, you're going to want to go to... Um, I'm going to change this down to quarter, just so it loads faster. You're going to want to zoom in here and you're going to want to find where it uh, starts shooting. So uh, I'm just going to play this off here. Alright, so. 
I'm going to put another keyframe there. I'm going to zoom in on it. And then I'm going to put a s over one, two, and I'm going to set this down to nine. Basically, all we did was move over two keyframes, and now it's at nine. And you'll see it's moving very slow. It's only shooting like one bullet a second or something like that. So um, you'll notice if you go past 10 seconds, though, uh, you won't have anything. So the time remapping, what it does is it allows you to stretch this out. And now, as you can see, uh, we can go well past what it was before. So um, now what you want to do is you just want to find out where it's done shooting. So uh, it's reloading here. It means it's probably done shooting about here. So let me just play it here. Alright, it's done shooting there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go right here and I'm going to set another keyframe at 9 and then I'm going to move over a few and then set it back to 100% which is 100% speed. So, um, yep, that's good guys. Um, we're pretty much done with that. Uh, you're just going to want to zoom in here and... Uh, one second. You're going to want to zoom in to where your clip is and find where it ends uh, so that you aren't rendering out two minutes worth so let me just go ahead and click play there so I'm just gonna go to about here about a few seconds after it's done reloading and then I'm going to drag this over and what this is is just basically what part's going to render. It's only going to render to the left of that bar. So um, right there should be good. So I just go ahead and go to File, Save, and then go to uh, Composition, Add to Render Queue. Uh, you're just going to want to keep this best settings, lossless, errors only. Um, and we're just going to title this Slow. And then go ahead and click OK and click Render. I'll be back once this is finished rendering with the Sony Vegas part. Alright guys, now that we have it rendered in uh, After Effects, we're just going to go ahead and close out of After Effects, and uh, the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and uh, drag your song into Sony Vegas, as well as what we rendered out, which was titled Slow, um, and we also want to drag in our UMP sound. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do, once you have all of this in, is you're going to want to find the part of the song that you're going to use. Which for me is going to be right here. I'm going to drag this over, make sure it sounds good. So, now that we got it like that, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. And you can see these different spikes. And essentially what we're doing is we're going to uh, line up each spike. I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter on the sound of the UMP. Just about like that. So let's hear that and make sure it sounds good. Alright, so you're just going to click on Control C to copy that, and um, you're just going to move it over to the first part where it makes that sound, which is right there. And then we're going to move over here and pick Control V there. So let's see. paste it there alright so you can see we're just uh, pasting it right where the song spikes dun 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 Alright, so with that said, this is what it sounds like. Alright, so it looks good. So basically all we want to do now is go to our UMP and find uh, where it shoots the first bullet. Which is... Right here. So, we're going to go right before that first flash. Which is right... Right before the recoil. Which is right there. And we're going to split it. 
make sure you have the video selected when you split it. So split it there, and then we're going to go over till after the flash and the recoil, which is right there. We're going to split it, and then we're going to go until the next flash, but we're going to go backwards and split it right before the flash. So then we're going to split it after the flash again, and then we're going to go until the next flash and split it right before. You just want to continue on doing this until you have absolutely every shot and fire from the weapon completed and split. Alright guys, as you can see I've split it all up right here. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, line up the song with our first shot. So uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go over here and you're just going to click on one of the little things and then hold control and just keep uh, clicking on each one. Make sure you don't uh, drag them out or move them otherwise uh, you're gonna end up making a mistake and you're gonna have to click control Z and uh, basically re-click on all of them which is a pain in the ass so like I said we're holding down control and selecting each one of these uh, little UMP shots as well as the song and then moving it up to right here aligned with the first shot of the UMP as you can see right here it's lined up so now comes the syncing part we're just gonna zoom in here we're gonna hold down control and we're gonna drag this over to about right there then we're gonna drag this over and we're just gonna hold down control drag it over to about there and basically as you can see this is the shot remember we just basically shortened the shot we didn't short we didn't cut it we uh... fast forwarded it so basically it's gonna be faster right there and then um... basically you can see that it shoots there so that's where the sounds gonna be it doesn't shoot here this the in-between shots so uh, if we drag this over basically and then hold down control and drag it over you know this is going to be the shot so um, you know obviously the sounds going to be there and basically that's how it works guys uh, you just keep holding down control and dragging it over and if you do it fast enough eventually uh, if you keep uh, pre-rendering it and stuff you'll notice that uh, it's syncing quite well um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward while I finish this up. Alright guys, if you get to a part right here where, uh, as you can see, uh, it's a lot smaller, then you're going to be able to drag. Um, you're going to want to go to File, Save, and you're just going to save this project as full and then go ahead and click save and then you're just going to drag this layer that's too big down and delete all the other layers and delete and then zoom out and then double click and then you're just going to go ahead and go to save as and save it as small one just in case you have to do a few and then you're just gonna go to file open and uh... you're gonna open that uh... you know that uh... full and then as you can see this is our song right here hold on a second sorry about this guys anyway uh... this is our full here if we delete that and then go over here to our um explore and then go to our desktop and you will see if you refresh it you will see small one if you drag it right there you can go ahead and shorten it even more and you can continue dragging these over I'm not sure why these are red guys but it's still appearing so ignore that uh, I really have no explanation for that they shouldn't be on yours but uh seems like my computer is fucking up and this is about the 15th time I've done this tutorial and I really don't want to do it again so you're just gonna have to ignore the red box but uh, anyway just keep holding down control dragging it over and uh, you know every once in a while check and make sure that you're doing the right sync and you didn't accidentally skip one so you don't have to end up going back and doing it all over again later so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this again I'll be back Alright guys, just keep doing that process, and once you're finished, go ahead and check out your final result. Here's mine.